Right, I'm going to try and do this all in one take because I, I can't be asked to go through editing this. Um, basically, uh, I wanted to just show that you can make these yourself. You don't need to go and spend like a like hundred quid on the uh, official one. So what I've done is create one out of wood for about cost me about fifteen quid. Um, like. The wood I actually had was um, some. Hang on, let me take this off so I can show you in closer detail. Sorry for the crappy camera angle right this second. Hang on. Yeah. So, as you can see, what I did was I made the actual um, fitting that um, fits into the toolbox. Now, you need to know the measurements, don't you? That's what you can need to know. Right. So, the measurement. Is yeah, so it's like 27 centimeters long by about four and a half centimeters deep and about and about five and a half. Mill, roughly. Yeah. The size that I used for this was 80 millimeters. The space here, which is kind of really one of the important ones, if I remember rightly, because it's got to catch the handle, was 18.75 mil. Uh, the actual bit at the back is. 91.8 Now I bought these um, bits of the back here to go I used to see the angle I used to attach it to the wood I got in tool station like uh, I think it was like 7 quid for the set of um, ten, 10 of them I had to notch just this little edge out because it was catching on the back of the toolbox so you may wish to change the ones you use but I think heavy duty ones would be advisable. But yeah, it all works. The only, the only reason it's leaning here is because I've not attached it to the wall at the moment in the garage. But they all sit there and it all hangs fine. As you can see, you've got space between them all so you can take them all off separately. So, anyway, just for a quick out there. I think next thing I'll, no, I should maybe be making another video soon. Because I'm making a homemade MFT table, but I just thought this might help someone. Once again, sorry for the um, crabby quality of the video.